The world watched as Starship, glowing like a meteor, descended through Earth's atmosphere on its 10th test flight. This was more than a landing, it was a statement rapid full rocket reusability is within reach. For decades, rockets were single use, burning up or sinking after one mission like buying a new car for every trip. Starship aims to change that, returning from orbit ready to fly again in days, not years. This breakthrough could make Moon and Mars missions practical, not just possible. The scorched but intact ship proved SpaceX's relentless iterative approach, build, fly, break, learn, repeat. Each flight, success or failure brings invaluable data. Flight 10 showcased controlled descent using flaps to steer like a skydiver, crucial for precise landings. But for SpaceX, landing is just the beginning. The real work is in the details. Engineers immediately dove into the data searching for flaws to fix. The goal isn't a single successful landing but a fleet of reliable, reusable starships. Flight 10 fired the starting pistol for the next phase refinement and perfection. The future of space travel depends on solving one of its toughest challenges, the thousands of black tiles shielding Starship's belly. Each tile is a test of engineering, and every flight is a step closer to routine, affordable spaceflight. The journey to reusability is just beginning. Re-entering from orbit, Starship faces a plasma inferno, air heated to nearly 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat shield's job protect the ship and its future crew from instant destruction. Starship's shield is made of thousands of hexagonal ceramic tiles, each with low thermal conductivity, hot outside, cool inside. But tiling a vibrating, flexing rocket is no easy feat. Every gap is a vulnerability. Even a tiny opening can let plasma in, threatening the ship. Flight 10's data revealed some tiles were lost and heat damage occurred where plasma breached the shield. Survival isn't enough for human spaceflight. The shield must be flawless every time. The post-flight analysis mapped out weak points, guiding engineers to the next improvements. Each test exposes flaws but also points the way forward. The challenge, make the shield robust, lightweight, and perfectly sealed. Only then can Starship safely carry people through the plasma gauntlet. The heat shield's evolution is key to unlocking routine, safe returns from space. Flight 10 revealed a hidden danger. Tiny methane leaks from the tanks found their way behind the heat shield tiles. In space this was harmless, but during re-entry, the trapped methane vaporized and escaped through tile gaps. Plasma met methane, causing mini-explosions that popped tiles off, exposing the steel beneath. This was a classic engineering aha, two separate systems, thermal protection and propulsion, unexpectedly linked. Fixing the tiles alone wasn't enough, the leaks had to be stopped at the source and the shield sealed completely. The challenge became twofold. Eliminate leaks and make the shield impervious to any gases. Engineers needed a solution that was robust, scalable and manufacturable for a fleet of starships. This discovery sent the team back to the drawing board, not to redesign the tiles but to rethink the entire sealing system. Every detail mattered. Even a microscopic flaw could threaten the mission. The solution would need to address both the leaks and the gaps, ensuring no path for plasma or gas. Starship's future depended on sealing every vulnerability. SpaceX tested metallic heat shield tiles hoping for greater durability. The idea metal could be stronger, easier to attach and more integrated with the steel hull. But in real-world re-entry metal tiles warped and buckled under extreme heat creating dangerous gaps. The experiment failed but it proved ceramic's superiority. Silica-based ceramic tiles barely expand when heated, keeping gaps small and predictable. Their brittleness is a challenge but their thermal stability is unmatched for re-entry. The failed metal test validated the ceramic approach. Sometimes failure is the best teacher. The focus shifted back to perfecting ceramic tile application and crucially, sealing the spaces between them. The problem wasn't the material but the system of integration and sealing. The next breakthrough would come from rethinking how the tiles and hull work together. To solve the tile popping problem, SpaceX introduced the wrapping paper method. Before attaching tiles, engineers apply a thin, high temperature sealant layer to the steel hull. This acts as a continuous barrier, isolating the ship's interior from the heat shield's outer surface. On top of the sealant, a layer of adhesive mortar holds the ceramic tiles in place. The result? A multi layered sandwich steel, sealant, mortar, tile. Even if methane leaks, it can't reach the tile gaps, plasma can't get in. This approach simplifies manufacturing, one continuous seal instead of thousands of tiny ones. It's a scalable, robust solution born directly from flight data. 
The wrapping paper method doesn't reinvent the heat shield, but it dramatically improves reliability. It's a textbook example of iterative engineering. Identify the failure, target the cause, and upgrade the system. With this innovation, Starship's shield is closer to being truly reusable and safe for human flight. Every layer brings us closer to routine, reliable space travel. SpaceX isn't just building Starship. It's a key player in a broader space ecosystem, partnering with NASA and others. The Falcon 9 remains a workhorse, launching critical science missions like NASA's IMAP, NOAA's WFOL-1, and the GLIDE mission, all on a single rocket. These missions help us understand and forecast solar storms, protecting future lunar astronauts and satellites. By launching these payloads, SpaceX supports the infrastructure needed for sustained lunar exploration. The path to Mars runs through the moon, built on a foundation of science and collaboration. SpaceX also enables commercial partners like Firefly Aerospace, whose Blue Ghost lunar lander will ride a Falcon 9 to the moon. NASA sets the goals, companies like Firefly build the landers, and SpaceX provides the ride. This model, government, science, and commercial innovation working together, accelerates progress. Collaboration, not competition, is fueling the new space age. Together, these partnerships are paving the way for humanity's return to the moon and beyond. Humanity's path to the stars is built on steady, incremental progress, not giant leaps. Starship's heat shield story is a microcosm relentless testing, learning from failure, and constant refinement. The wrapping paper solution isn't the end, but a vital step toward full reusability. Each flight builds knowledge, each fix brings us closer to routine space travel. This philosophy drives the evolution of Starship and the partnerships shaping modern space exploration. NASA sets the vision. Commercial partners deliver the technology and transportation. Public-private collaboration is the backbone of 21 St. Century spaceflight, faster, cheaper, and more innovative. Advances in hardware and scientific missions are both essential for human spaceflight. We need reliable rockets and deep knowledge of the space environment to protect and enable future explorers. By tackling technical and scientific challenges together, we're building the capability to live and work beyond Earth. Every launch, every lesson, is a step forward. The stars are within reach, one improvement at a time.